How you doing today, guys? Sensei Bird here. One million fit resident badass. SpongeBob, because he's soft and squishy. One million fit Bob, whatever you want to call him. This is a great training tool, okay? So I want to talk to you today about what happens if I don't have a great training tool. Take a look at HQ here. One million fit headquarters. Got all kinds of cool stuff to play with here. Weights, bags, freestanding bags, ropes, big open space, speed bag. What if you don't have that? That's okay. Shadow boxing is a great way to work out as well. I know from personal experience when I've been down to Windy City Gym here in Chicago to watch professional boxers train. I communicate and I network with trainers, boxing trainers, kickboxing trainers, all kinds of trainers all the time. Number one thing they tell their guys to do, jump the rope, start shadow boxing. Shadow boxing in front of a mirror. Now, you don't have to have the big fancy mirrors like they do in the gyms. If you got one of those, you know, fashion mirrors that's on the back side of your door, that's great because then you can see your whole body. If you only have a bathroom mirror, that's great too. If you've got a window that gives a good reflection, that's great too. Because what you're doing is you are your own personal trainer when you're shadow boxing. You're checking a number of different things. One, body position. Am I squared up to my target? Are my feet shoulders width apart? Are my hands up? Is my chin tucked in? I'm standing here. This is my fighting position. Second thing you're going to check is when you're making your punches, are my arms and elbows down? Or are they up, flailing like this? This is no good. This, far more preferred, okay? So throwing together combinations, straight punches, hook punches, uppercuts if you know them, some leg combinations, front kicks, knee strikes, roundhouse kick if you know one, if you took Taekwondo as a kid and you can probably remember how to throw a roundhouse kick, try. Make sure you got enough room around you though as soon as you start throwing kicks. But combinations together, two minute round, three minute round. If you're looking at this on your smartphone, you have a timer on your phone. Look in the clock app. There's a timer on there. You can set it up for two minutes, three minutes. You can set it up as a stopwatch, whichever you want to do. But put in together combinations for time. Five two minute rounds, 30 second rest in between. Four, five, three minute rounds. 45 second rest in between. Whichever you want to do. Five minute round with a two minute rest. Do that as well. As you get better at what your workout and your own personal training is going to be with this type of exercise, the more you can add to it. So just real quick, let's go through like maybe two or three combinations you can do for a shadow boxing routine. Three two minute rounds of doing this. Jab, cross, hook, cross. And move around. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Look at yourself in the mirror, chin down, feet and shoulders width apart, hips and body squared up towards the front. Jab, cross, hook, cross. Move around a little bit, maybe jump up and down, jab, cross, hook, cross. Just keep these going, jab, cross, hook, cross. So that could be one round. Next one you'll do is a jab, cross, hook, cross, right leg knee, okay? It's not a big ballistic exercise where you have to throw a front kick and extend that leg out, okay? Just bring your knee up and then back down. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike. Then maybe incorporate two knees. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike, switch your legs, knee strike. Back into your fighting stance. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike, switch, knee strike. Jab, cross, hook, cross, so on and so forth. Now. Third one, jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike, switch legs, front kick. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike, switch legs, front kick. Or jab, cross, hook, cross, front kick, switch legs, knee strike. Get your knees up, get your legs going, get your body working, use your body to make your punches, not just swinging your arms like an old lady. Okay, no purse hitting here. Jab, cross, hook, cross. First one. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike. Jab, cross, hook, cross, two knee strikes. Jab, cross, hook, cross, knee strike. Front kick, or alternate the legs. Hook, cross, front kick, knee strike. So those are real simple, basic, rudimentary combinations you can do 
for shadow boxing that doesn't require any equipment other than yourself, your mind, and your indomitable spirit. Sensei Burr here, checking out. Get on it.